We don't need to worry about the pH of our blood because there are two organs that are constantly keeping it within that range. One is your lungs and this explains why you start breathing very deeply when you exercise. We don't choose to breathe deeply, do we? But when we're getting to the top of that hill, you're starting to breathe very deeply, especially if you run up the hill. Well, why does that happen? Well, the cells need more oxygen. Remember, more oxygen gives you a better delivery of fuel. Plus, as the oxygen and the glucose are being burnt, they're giving off carbon dioxide. <coughs> Excuse me. They're giving off carbon dioxide and that has to be got rid of because if it doesn't, the carbon dioxide builds up in the blood and that creates a more acid environment. So that is why we start breathing deeply. So deep breathing helps to keep the balance of the pH in the blood as it should be. The other organ is your kidneys. Your kidneys do this in a fascinating way. Proverbs 14 verse 6 states, knowledge is easy to him that understands. Let's go to the smallest unit in the kidney, which is a little nephron. It's a little filtering unit. It's called the Bowman's capsule. And out of the Bowman's capsule, the filtrate comes out. And then the filtrate weaves around these tubules and is eliminated via the bladder. So what happens with these little filtering units is the blood comes in, blood comes in, weaves around the filtering units and then the blood weaves around the tubules. So let me show you where in the kidneys are these little filtering units. So the medulla is the middle part, the cortex is the outside and all the little filtering units basically sit on the outside and then the tubules weave down like this, then into the, into the ureter, into the bladder and out via the urethra comes the urine. So why am I talking about the kidneys with pH? Let's say the pH of the blood is getting too acid. Well, it's in this area of the blood going through the tubules that the pH is, is tested. You see, we, we filter out, we only filter out 1.5 litres of uh, urine a day, but out of these filtering units, 1,800 litres is filtered out. So where does that go? There's a reabsorption here. And it's in the reabsorption area that pH is being monitored. So let's say the pH of the blood is getting too acid, and we'll look at why that is in the moment. Then extra acid is dropped into the tubules to be urinated out. But let's say the pH of the blood is going too alkaline. Well, it is here that extra acid is pulled back out of the tubules and into the blood. So that is how the kidneys are constantly monitoring and balancing, if necessary, the pH of the blood. Let me give you a story to illustrate. We had a lady, she was coming to do our programs a few years ago now. She rang up Saturday night and she said, I'm very worried about coming to your retreat. I said, why is that? She said, well, I'm about to go on dialysis. I'm 57. My legs are swollen and I'm worried if when I come to your retreat and go through the detox, I'll get worse. Do you have a doctor there? I said, we don't, but we will keep a, a close eye on you. We can adjust as we go and there is a hospital an hour away if you need that. And if someone would say to my husband, do you have a doctor there at your retreat? You know what his answer is? No, and we don't want one. <laughs> you see, we're not doctors. We're just lifestyle coaches, teaching people how to be their own doctors. Yes, go to your doctor. Yes, go to your specialist and see what he says. And what can you do with his advice? You can take it or leave it. That's why God's given us this sound mind to consider these things.